guys and welcome back to my channel i know i told you before that i was gonna start doing acrylic nails and i was looking into some good acrylic powders and i found some however i decided to make my own one because it was cheaper and two because i knew i was going to be messing up a lot and i did not want to ruin a 20 dollar bottle of acrylic so i went this route and i did save myself a great amount of money doing so and like i said before i am just starting out doing acrylic so if you are a professional or you're already good at it you don't have to do this because you don't have to worry about messing up what you um purchase so yeah i'm just going to be showing you guys how i mix my colors how much everything costs and basically showing you how I saved the money. Even though I am making my own acrylic powders, I did purchase some from Dynamic Nail Supply as well. I just wanted to get some of those because they are really affordable. I think it's $6 for one ounce and $8 for two ounces. And I got some nudes and some pinks and I'm really excited about that. I did record it, so I will be showing you guys what that looks like. I also purchased the $45 um, tub of clear acrylic powder, and I did that so I could use it for this video. Actually, this is it right here. And I'll be mixing the pigment powders with this. A little disclaimer, I am not using acrylic monomer to swatch um, these colors that I'm mixing. I'm using just plain alcohol, and the reason being is the monomer is entirely too strong. The kind that I have, um, which is, I think, Car Lash from Amazon. It has a really, really strong smell. I just ordered some from Dynamic Nail Supply, so hopefully it's not as strong as um, the kind that I got from Amazon a while ago. So I'm just using alcohol just to show you guys what these colors are. They still come out the same. It's just the consistency is not as it would be if I was using a real monomer. So this color here that I'm using is Egyptian green and it does have shimmer to it. All of these powders, these pigments have uh, shimmer to it. And the way I'm mixing it, I'm only putting one tablespoon of pigment to three tablespoons of clear acrylic powder. And I'm using my Model 1's clear acrylic because I don't want to um, waste it. I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I have of that and then the rest I'll be using the Dynamic Nail Supply clear powder. Also, if any of you guys know where I can get some pigment that does not have shimmer to it, please let me know. I'm pretty sure they have it on Amazon, but it seems that everyone that I've come across has shimmer and I just want some plain colors as well. Although these colors are very beautiful, I do want some plain solid colors with no glitter or anything to it. These boxes of pigments that I have purchased, they have a lot, a lot of colors. I did not get around to mixing all of them because for one, I ran out of containers and two, I ran out of clear powder. So I have to purchase some more and then maybe I could go ahead and mix the rest of it up. And I'll record that as well if you guys want to see it. The labels that I'm using to write down the name of the colors came with the plastic containers that I'm putting these powders in. So I did not have to purchase those separately. They did come with the containers. And also the containers that I already had came with their own labels as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys how I was able to save over $500 by mixing my own acrylic powders. Basically, I was able to make 30 different colors from the pigment that I'm mixing right now. So I spent $91 on clear acrylic pigment powders or whatever I needed for this video, containers and all. 
on the Kiara Sky website, which is where I was looking at first to buy acrylic powders, theirs are $20 a piece. So if I would have spent, well, if I would have purchased 30 different color acrylics for $20, I would have been spending $600. So the $600 that I would have spent minus the $91 that I actually spent had me saving $509. So I think this was a great option for me in my situation. This is not something that you have to do, but if you are just starting out and you know you're going to be messing up a lot, I think this will be a good option for you. Now, if you just want to spend $20 on acrylic powders starting out, that's totally fine as well. That was not an option for me. So, of course, I chose this route. Also, I know some of you guys may be like, well, other places have cheaper acrylics. That is very true. Dynamic Nail Supply, once again, has the cheapest acrylics that I have seen and I've heard nothing but great things about them. I heard the product is great in everything. But still, if I would have spent, if I would have purchased 30 different acrylic powders from them for $6, I still would have been spending $180. So I think I made the right choice in this sense. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go back to Dynamic Nail Supply and get some more acrylic powders like eventually they will be like my stepping stone i'm going from using the ones that i'm making now to dynamic nail supply and then way later on in the future when i'm actually really good at this i'll probably go to the kiara scout website again because they did have a lot of things that i like especially they have a dampened dish that I want. It is so beautiful. It's $20 and I'll spend $20 on that because I can use that for however long and nothing is going to happen to it unless I drop it and break it. So I probably will get that because it was cute and I like cute stuff. I have not been able to test out these colors yet on actual nail because like I said, I'm still waiting for my other monomer to come. But when I do, I will be recording a video for you guys to see how they look on an actual nail. I hope that you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. Although I wanted to mix all of the colors in this video for you guys, I knew I was going to run out of either acrylic powder or containers. So I just found the most attractive colors to me. Um, also colors that I don't usually see on other websites. I picked those to go ahead and mix so I could show you guys the different options that you have. I know they had a lot of pink pigments in one of these boxes. I think it was the Mika Mica powder, however you pronounce it. In that box, it had a ton of pink pigments, greens, and I tried to mix as many of them as well so I could show you guys how the shades um, come out. So these are all of the colors from the Northern Lights pigments and I think all of them are absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait to use them. Now moving on to the Mica powder. They have so many options and I tried to go through so I could show you guys 
um, them individually and what they're called. So I'm just going to let you guys watch that part. And then I will be back in a minute. Also, before I go, I forgot to tell you guys that I'm going to go ahead and mix the colors. And then I'll be back to show you what they look like. Okay, you guys, I'm back and I got all of the colors mixed. If you are wondering, the labels that I have on the top of these containers, they are my logo from when I was selling press on nails. And I had them because I ordered them during the back to school sale from Vista Print and they sent me the wrong sizes. So they made me the correct sizes free of charge and they let me keep these so instead of them going to waste I just put them on top of my containers what I'm going to do is show you the colors all in one shade like I'm gonna do all the greens and then I'll do all the oranges and so you can see the different um, hues that each color had like I said before I was not able to mix every color that I had because I ran out of containers and acrylic powder. But I will show you guys the ones that I was able to mix. Now I was really thinking that lime was going to be my favorite color out of these greens. Because I thought for some reason I thought it would be the brightest color. But turns out it was not the lime. It was actually the light green that turned out to be the brightest. And I absolutely love that color. I love neon colors period comment down below and let me know what is your favorite color that you have seen so far these are all my greens side by side i cannot wait to use these colors and make some really bomb designs now moving on to the blues i only had two of these teal and mint and you'll see in a little bit that i do not think the mint is truly a mint color because it, it just doesn't look like it. it looks more like a light blue baby blue something but it doesn't look mint to me the first one actually looks more mint than than this one Moving on to my yellow, this is the only yellow that I had other than like a gold or something like that. But I was excited to see if the color was going to remain the same after I mixed it. I don't know why I was wondering that because every other color remained the same. But I still wanted my yellow to be just as bright as it was when it was just 
pigment. Now I had two oranges. This first one is like your regular average orange and the second one is more like a pumpkin orange. It really gave me fall vibes. I was really excited about these colors that I'm showing you next, this gold and copper, because these are colors that I do not use very often, especially the copper. I do use gold more than copper, and wine I rarely use is more of a red, and I'm just, red is just not my color, especially for nails, not on me anyway. It looks good on other people, but I do not like any kind of red on me. But these colors, regardless, came out gorgeous. I absolutely love the gold and the copper. So I can't wait to use those. Moving on to the next colors, this ruby and rose, I probably should have swatched with the wine because it's, it's more of that shade, but I'm getting into the purples and the pinks. I did mix a lot of pinks because pink is usually my go-to when doing nails. So I wanted to have a bunch of different options when it came to that particular color. But before I show you those, I'm going to show you this chocolate. I was really excited about this color. I thought it was going to be really pretty, but it is not that pretty to me. It actually looks like shiny, you know what, like it wasn't what I was expecting at all. But that's fine because it was followed up by this really pretty pink. I would have to say that this is probably my favorite color out of the pinks um, and I think that the snowflake from the Northern Lights pigment box was one of my favorite colors as well. These last two colors that I'm gonna show you are purple, and I only mixed two of them because I felt like I mixed some darker purples from the Northern Lights pigments. So I didn't want too many dark colors, I really wanted bright colors. And these are really pretty, especially the second one. Now I'm gonna show you guys where I set my pigment powders after I mixed them. I did recently change around my nail room and I use the same black stands that I've used for my pop-up shops. If you guys have seen that video, I use those stands to store my pigments, well, my acrylic powders that I've mixed. These are all of the colors that I was able to mix today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know if this is something that you're willing to try or if you have tried this already. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will catch you all in the next one.